to my channel if you are new here go ahead go down there hit that red button to go ahead and subscribe to this channel give me a thumbs up if you think this look is bomb and also go comment down below and say girl you look bomb girl you slay <laughs> don't forget to hit that bell so you get notifications about when i post i'm a little under the weather child um i don't know what's going on but i've been like sick a few days and if i sound a little nasal i'm sorry but child i don't know how to get into this look so the photo shoot is a 90 shoot so much fun so i got on this cute shirt ain't it cute i got it from rainbow for like seven eight dollars this this hat it's from my friend Daniel. He had a clothing line called Culture. And I felt like it really went with the theme of the shirt. I had my little fanny pack on from Rainbow. And I just got on some biker shorts and some combat boots. I'm going to take you guys with me so you can meet some of the girls. It's like an open plus size shoot that they were doing. And I saw like my cousin sent me the Facebook event. Um and she was like, I think you should do it. And like, this is my first photo shoot. I'm so excited. I'm ready to meet some of the other girls. Cause again, I don't know these people. I'm Facebook friends with one of them, but I don't know like everybody who's gonna be a part of the shoot. So I'm excited. Me and my best friend are going and we're just gonna get lit. So if you want to see how I did my makeup, just stay tuned. As a disclaimer, I am no way, shape, form, or fashion a makeup artist. Not a makeup artist. Not gonna claim to be a makeup artist. <clears throat> I am a little under the weather as well, so excuse me if I do a little, you know what I'm saying. But I am no way, shape, form, or fashion a makeup artist at all. This is just what I like to do as my own routine stuff I've seen other YouTubers do for their makeup and I just kind of put it all together in my own little routine. My head itching. So first thing is that I like to do when I'm doing my makeup, I like to prep and prime my face. I know some people usually do that off camera, but I want to give y'all the whole full effect of how I do everything. So, what I usually like to do, I like to take makeup wipe. These are by Modessa, and they are the green tea scented ones. I usually use these. If not, I use the Neutrogena makeup wipes, and they come in like the light blue package. But today we're gonna be using these, because they was a dollar, and they was a dollar. So I like to wipe. I already cleansed my face, but I just like to make sure I go over it with a makeup wipe. Make sure we have no excess anything because it's best to do makeup on clean, clear skin. That way it don't apply. So that's just like what I like to do first. And then I kind of let that dry, fan it a little bit. <laughs> so then after that, I like to take my primer. Uh, I got this from Walgreens, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and I use the matte finish only because, like, my skin is super oily. Like, I can literally just be sitting here, and it's going to start looking like I'm sweating, but it's really just oil coming out of my pores. So I have to kind of close those up a little bit. <clears throat> I used to go in and moisturize my face, but like this primer kind of has like a lotion texture to it. So, cause I don't be needing the extra oil. So I just like to dab that in there. I pay close attention to this area because I have smile lines. 
and it's just genetics like my dad's side of the family we have like those high cheeks and we have like an indentation here so i have to put extra in that area then i like to do my forehead kind of my nose and those are the places that i get oily the most my t-zone so here here i'm just gonna rub that in now i kind of like to let that sit as well and i may take a beauty blender and just kind of dab it in all right <clears throat> and it kind of looks a little ashy but don't be alarmed because we're gonna put foundation over that so it's not gonna look like that and then i'm moving on to brow So I am using the Absolute New York Super Slam Point Fine pencil. Comes like this. One end has the actual pencil part that you're gonna put on your brows. And then it comes with the little spoolie on the other side. And that's just to kind of brush up because when you're doing your brows, you want to make sure you brush them up before you get to drawing them in. Usually, like, my brows are the thing that takes me the longest to do. For what, I don't know. Because as you can see, I already have a good shape. My eyebrows are pretty much already filled. But I'm just, like, so anal with the brows. Because if your brows are jacked up... It can mess up your whole entire look. So I like to go in carefully. I do soft strokes. And I have a mirror here. So I'm just... I like to draw in small strokes. A line. Right up under the brow. Kind of like a base. And I just start to bring that up from there, blend it in. And once you get to the middle of your brows, you want to go very light, like very light. If you guys see people who like block off this part you don't really look right you want to go very light because you want like almost like an ombre effect so you want it to be really light here and then kind of gradually get darker over here so i just go really light in with the pencil between those little hairs that are there You just kind of do little light strokes like so and then you kind of run over it with your spoolie and kind of blend in because you don't want a really sorry that's my little mirror after a while you don't want that little harsh line that we had to draw under here so blend it upward with your spoolie and spoolies all look different i have a thousand of them but this is one you just kind of blend it out and once you blend it out it'll kind of give you an idea of how much more you need to go in I try to make sure I get a crisp, like this little part right here is crisp. Cause once you put on like your shadow and stuff, or once you go to conceal that, you want this to be really crisp. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and be back with y'all all right so now that the brows are done you want to start concealing so I usually use the LA girl pro concealer or the makeup revolution concealer um in the makeup revolution i'm a c12 and it's kind of lighter i think i need the one that's like the the 12.5 or something because they go by numbers so i think i need the 12.5 in this it's almost gone i need some more and then in la girl pro conceal i am warm honey so this is what i use to outline my eyebrows uh i even kind of use this for a base for my shadow and then when i go into contour i use it as my concealer for my under eye and stuff so if you want to go a cheaper route that has good results that a lot of makeup artists use do the la girl pro conceal this is only $3.99 at the beauty supply um so that is definitely a good alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money on this okay, so now i'm going to take my m113 morphe brush and i'm going to outline my brows and you want to do this with a good sturdy brush that has like a straight end because you're going to be carving basically your eyebrows out and I like to conceal around mine because it just makes it look neater to me some people even actually use the thing which you can I just like to have more control over the concealer because I don't want to you know mess up what I just carved like I just drew these I don't want to mess it up so I'm gonna dab a little bit on my brush And then I'm going to take it up top. And you're just following the line. And what a lot of people don't know about makeup, it really don't even take a lot of brushes to do makeup. I mean, sure, you could probably use every one that you have. I have over a hundred makeup brushes, but I, out of the whole hundred and something, I could tell you I probably only use like maybe six in total to do a makeup look. Cause it really don't take all of that. And then on the other one, I'll show y'all how to do it with the actual pro concealer. So you just drag and you want to hold it like this up top. Cause if you do it like this, you may mess something up. So hold it like this, drag it across the top. And again, you're following the line just like you would. Cause it's like a brush top. like so but you see how this one came out a lot more control and this one has a lot more that's one of the main reasons i use a brush all right so brows are done now i'm going to take that same m113 brush and the concealer and i'm going to put it over the lid because again, I kind of use this as an eyeshadow base as well. And it's fine if you kind of get messy with it and it comes all down the eye. 
it's fine because you're gonna put foundation over that part anyway, so. All right. Voila, you got some brows. Next. I've been trying to decide if I want to do my eyeshadow first. I'm not completely sure. Or do I want to go into foundation? I think I'm going to do my foundation first. So foundation today, I have a photo shoot. So I want as much coverage as possible. So... I'm going to be mixing a stick in a liquid foundation. The liquid one that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And in this color, I am the color. What color am I? Oh, spicy brown. <laughs> And then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay Stick. And for the stick, it's so cool because it comes like this. You roll it up, you dab it on. And then on the bottom, it has like a little blending sponge. Now, that sponge is way too small for my face. But it probably would be good to like blend around the eyes for. But I'm just going to use a beauty blender. And I wanted to try something before I put on my foundation. I saw another YouTuber, it's Ray Ray. What she did, she took her setting powder because she has oily skin as well and she used it first on the skin. Like she dabbed it in her areas where she knows she gets oily or you can use like a translucent, translucent powder and you can put that on as well. But I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. And this is pretty much my go-to. Um, I use other ones, but this one just sits better for me. And it's a good drugstore solution and works pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, my setting powder and my beauty blender and I'm going to that off in there and I'm going to put it in the areas where I know I get oily. So all around my T-zone, I'm definitely going to put some here because I told y'all I get those smile lines which are not a good look right up in here around my nose and it's okay if it looks white because again you're going to be putting your color foundation and a little on my forehead in this spot because for some reason just this little circle spot just gets oily i don't know why i don't know why it's gonna look like a little dirt or something for like a second but that's okay because once you put it all together since it's gonna be cute it's gonna look a little What's the character that Dave Chappelle plays? Y'all comment that down below because that's who I look like right now. Thumbnail. Okay. Then I'm going to take my. I'm gonna dab that around. It fits the style much easier to me. Can you just put it all over? Beauty Blender. And some people like to use all those little spatulas. It's probably the proper way to do it. But sis, I'm just doing my face, so. Let me use my hand. 
dab a little of that on your hands like your beauty blender and you kind of want to places where you put the stick one if you're going to mix them i'm just doing it because i want maximum coverage because again i'm doing a photo shoot today and i like to i'm gonna be outside for a while so i like to really put it on there really put it on there so i'm gonna take it and kind of dab few spots where I know I could use a little extra help where I know I'm a little darker at my NYX matte finishing spray spray my sponge cuz I like to use like a damp sponge when I'm blending because it just makes it go in its perspective places better and we're just going to blend. Okay, so now we got everything blended out and some people like to blend all the way down to the neck <laughs> but i just usually stop about here catch this second chin that i have and now we are all blended out <clears throat> i like to do next and some people may skip this step but i use the kiss new york professional pro touch setting powder in the tone earth and it's so close to my skin so i usually like to do that and i make sure a little gets at the top and i take a big brush preferably a big fluffy brush and this is my morphe m106 brush and i dip it in tap see how the excess and i like to go over my foundation because again i'm oily and this kind of helps to i'm just oily like I'm just oily so I try to use as much powder as I can because I just want to conceal as much of the oil as I can and since I've been doing adding this step in there it's been less likely for me to just really really oil up so I'm gonna go all over and um, brush this around all right so as you can see it just gives you a really nice air blush airbrushed look so i'm telling y'all i get so oily and it just kind of helps out now we're going to move to the eyes and i'm using some of my fave palettes right now. Like when I say some of my favorite, these are some of my favorite palettes right now. So I'm going to be using the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. The colors in this thing is so beautiful, y'all. Look at that. Like you could just do a swipe of those gold and they are just so pretty. So pretty. So this is one of my favorite palettes right now and it has a lot of neutral brownish tones which is what I use the most. Um, I just start kind of venturing into color. So those tones to me are beautiful and super pigmented 
And then I have the Afrique palette from Juvia's Place. And the ones in here are more colorful, but they are so beautiful. Like, I just want y'all to get into, like, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then, of course, I'm going to use my favorite. The Box of Crayons palette from Super Sin. Super Sin is my best friend in my head. And her makeup line is bomb. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. I just love how it has this big mirror. But as you can see, like this is my favorite because I usually use it as a, like the first color I put on like my blending out color. So y'all just beautiful like look at that look at that pigment love this stuff this is photo shoot is like a 90s photo shoot i'm not gonna go like super crazy with the colors because i want still a more natural look these four brushes to complete this look. This one is the Morphe M208. The Morphe 332 brush. Morphe M209 brush. And I'll have these all linked down below. I'll even link down the master because I got the master set. And it came with like a hundred and some brushes. And then I have the Morphe M330 brush. These are the only brushes I'm using. And I have so many brushes, y'all. Like, like, I have more and more of these. By the way, I got these cute little jars. And I kind of decorated them. And this is what I put my makeup brushes in. From the Dollar Tree. But first, I'm going to take that M332 and I'm going to dip it in my favorite from the crayon case, tan. And I'm just going to lay that down first because once you're doing your eyeshadow, you want to start with a really neutral color, a good base. So once you're adding other colors, it blends better. So I'm going to do the tan and I'm going to put that along the lid. Color, you wanna start kinda of adding in a little color. And I'm thinking, cause I never know what eyeshadow look I wanna do until I'm actually doing my makeup. I think I want to go in with this color Dakar in that Afrique Juvia's Place and I'm just going to use the same brush and it has a really pretty like orangey like burnt orange look to it so I'm just going to be popping that right into the crease. Like so. And then I want to, I think I want to take, go back into that tan and blend this better so it's not so much of like a harsh line with the same brush. And I'm just going to go right above that the car color and blend it out. So 
like so. And then I've been trying to decide if I'm gonna be extra and not do a cut crease. Kind of a matter of Brooke, do you really want to be extra and do a cut crease? Because I have glitter, and I'm thinking, like, should I add glitter? What does she want to do today? I think I'm going to do a little cut crease. Yeah, she'll do a little cut crease. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I used to kind of outline my brows. And I don't do like this super dramatic cut crease. I just do one to where it just does enough. So I'm going to kind of cut me out a crease here. How you do your cut crease, like I did before on this eye, you want to put it down the bottom of the lid, look up, and you're going to create a little line. So you just want to follow that line that you created once you looked up. Then I'm going to take the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to dip into this Balm Bakwa I think it is Bakwa down here this one in the middle really pretty and I want to take that same brush that I used to put on the concealer and I'm going to dab This is so pretty. Now what I want to do is take that same M332 and I think I'm going to go in with the color Kano. It's kind of like a, a darker brown Kano and I'm going to go right above the cut crease with that color just right above it and then I'm going to start bringing it inward here in the corner because we want to darken those up too then I'm going to take my crayon case palette and I'm gonna dip into the brown you know what no I'm gonna dip into the deep plum down here now on camera it looks really really purple but it's actually a really really deep 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 like burgundy color once you apply it and I'm going to go over what I did in the corners with that color and you see how that just kind of deepened it up now I'm going to take a different brush to do this but I'm going to take the M208 Morphe brush and it it's like a flat brush but it also has like a fluffy end to it so I'm gonna take the black and kind of smoke it out on the sides It's looking cute. <clears throat> now I'm going to apply the tart Tardius liner. 
and you can get this at I I shop at also like um for my stuff. So also has this. It comes with the felt tip, and then the other side has a pencil in. I've used the crap out the pencil in, so there's nothing left in there. But I do use the felt tip, and I don't know how to do a wing liner. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do a wing, I'm just gonna go across and I'm gonna have it stop here. Cause that's why we kinda, I kinda wanted to do the black to kinda give that pulled out effect. Cause I, I just can't do a wing line to save my life. So, I'm gonna go in, do this liner, all right. And then I'm going to go over that liner with the NYX Epic Ink liner and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the line all right baby okay so now what I'm going to do and what I like to do last is take just like a little random brush don't have to be nothing special this one I got from the beauty supply I think and I'm going to take that same thing that I put on my lid and I'm going to pop it under my brow. So, take that and I brush it in, blend it out. All right. So now I am going to take the black from the crayon case palette. And I'm going to take the angled Morphe 50, I think that's 56 or S6 or something like that. And I'm going to take the black color. I'm going to dip it in and this is what I'm going to do to underline my waterline. Alright, so we got some eyes. Baby, we got eyes. My NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. Y'all yeah, have no real lashes, like none. And I like to put my lashes on last. Cause that's the most nerve wracking thing for me. Don't know why. But next I'm going to go ahead and contour. Use my LA Girl Concealer. And I'm going just right up under that line I created on my waterline. And I like to do my chin. Cover up some of those blemishes. All right here. Down the middle of my nose. And a little bit on my forehead. And then we're going to take the beauty blender and again I'm going to spray it with that NYX spray because I like to use a damp beauty blender for this as well and we're just blending out honey okay now I'm going to take my black radiance and a beauty blender Again, I like dampness, so I'm going to spray that. And we're going to bake, and we're going to bake, and we're going to bake, and we're going to bake.
So we're going to let that bake. And while we let that bake, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette. And I'm going to warm up the areas around where I'm baking. And I'm going to take my Morphe M104. Uh, let's see. I'm going to dip into this brown. And we're doing upward motions. I'm going to take kind of this a lighter shade up here and I'm going to kind of bronze. back and forth for myself about using this glitter and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop some glitter pop some pop some glitter and I want to do that little line of glitter right over where I did my crease so I'm going to take that same brush that I've been using dab a little of this and this is a pressed glitter and it is amazing. You don't even have to really use. I use. I don't even really use glitter glue. I don't use glitter glue as a matter of fact. Because it just sticks so well. But I'm going to make a little line. And that's just so cute. I'm so glad we decided to use some glitter. A little trick that I like to use when brushing away when I'm baking, and we're gonna let it sit just a little bit longer. But what I do, I usually take a stiffer brush. Um, this is the Morphe S94 brush, and I dip it in my powder and I like to wipe it away because baking can leave you looking a little dusty and you don't want that. We don't want that. We want to be nice and snatched. We want to be cute. So I usually take a swirl under brown, get that extra off, and I just kind of tap it into the bacon areas. Then I'm gonna go back into that BH Studio Pro. Put some warmth back into the face a little. Then 
then I just got a little random blush. And I'm going to go into, it's from um, Beauty Trends, just random. Go into this pretty pink color and the little coral color next to it. Mix those two, because I'm not big on blush. <laughs> We're just going to barely zap it into the cheek area. So my camera died, but this is the finished look. I just added some lashes from Iconic and Anglola Highlight. And I added my half wig and I put it up under my hat um, for the completed look. And the lips, I'm wearing the Anastasia Strawberry um, Liquid Lipstick. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more of these videos. Comment down below if you like this one. Bye.